What's up outdoorsman Greg here and today I'm going over how to pack for an out of state hunting trip. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet so for the purposes of this video I am not going to talk about personal items like shampoo, socks, underwear, etc, etc. You know what you need to take care of yourself. Make sure you include those things as well. But for the hunting gear first thing you need is a tree saddle. Now, if you're less advanced in human evolution, you may choose to use traditional tree stand equipment. I'll try not to hold that against you, but I probably will. I choose to use a DIY version of the tree saddle that I made myself, and I'll link to that in the description below. Next, when you're hunting out of a tree saddle, you're gonna need something to stand on. I take a platform, one that I made myself, and then a few that I've gotten commercially, some Ameristep strap-on steps, as well as some Wild Edge step ladders as a backup and a secondary backup. That way I have plenty of options for a platform. You're also gonna want something really good for your feet. I wear rubber boots when I'm hunting, but I'll bring a pair of hiking boots as a backup in case something happens to my rubber boots. I choose Irish setters because they're super light and very, very comfortable. When you're going out of state, if you're hunting public ground, you can't screw stuff into the tree, so that knocks out screw-in steps or any sort of permanent setup. You're going to need some kind of portable, attachable climbing aid that doesn't damage the tree. I have muddy sticks and lone wolf sticks. I use aiders on both of them. That way I only need to use three sticks and I can still get over 20 feet. Normally, you'd have to have four or five sticks to get over 20 feet. But if you add aiders in, you can reduce the number of sticks significantly. This is my bow hanger. Again, I cannot screw things into the tree on public land, so this straps around the tree and it's got multiple hooks for hanging all my gear. Bow hook, can hang my grunt call, my rangefinder, anything I want to hang from the tree, I can do that with this piece of equipment. I made this myself, it's basically a DIY molly webbing loop. You definitely need something to pack all this stuff in. I'm using an Alps Pursuit Pack because it works so good with so much different gear. When you're successful, you're going to need to take care of that animal quickly and you may not have access to proper facilities. This is a nice to have item. You don't need it, but it certainly is helpful to have some pulleys, some rope, and a gambrel. It packs up nicely and fits in a neat little bag. You're definitely going to need multiple headlights. I have a backup to my backup and I carry plenty of batteries. I film all my hunts, so the camera arm and multiple cameras are essential for me. I also carry a couple of portable battery backups just in case I need power in the field. Of course, you need your grunt tube, your rattle bag, and your doe bleat anytime you're hunting during the rut. This is an item that you tree standers definitely will not need. I use knee pads whenever I hunt out of my tree saddle. It makes, the, makes leaning against the tree much more comfortable. And I always carry some assorted items. The plastic bag is my kill kit. I carry a, a tree saw, range finder, and there's a million and one different uses for rubber gear ties, so I always carry a bunch of those with me as well. If you're hunting during gun season, which most likely you are if it's the rut, I always carry Hunter Orange. It's nice to have binoculars, and I always carry a battery-powered spotlight in case it gets dark and it's time to track. Moving over to clothes, people often overdo this. I try to keep it simple. I carry one next to skin insulating layer. This is a waffle knit top and bottom that's very warm. If it's above 55 degrees, I don't need anything except my Scentlock Savannah coveralls. This is great because not only does it help with scent control, but it's very well made camo and it's extremely comfortable. Once the temperature dips below 55, I'll wear my two layer APX G2 by Russell. This is a fantastic brushed fleece set of coveralls and jacket. They're very quiet, very warm, and very comfortable. And my last layer is a heavy layer. This is the same brand of heavyweight jacket and pants. One thing I forgot to show in this video is rain gear. Always bring your rain gear. And if the temperatures do dip below freezing, I've got nice beanies, a couple of layers of gloves, both lightweight and heavy duty and a nice fleece neck gaiter to keep you warm on brisk mornings. With your bow, make sure you have some sort of emergency fletching. I use NAP Quick Fletch because you can do it pretty much anywhere. 
always have your extra release, and I carry a set of Allen keys and several knocks and a whole bunch of other miscellaneous repair items just in case I need it. I like to carry a big single bin that fits everything. I can lock it up in my truck, secure it where no one can steal it, and I'm good to go. I have everything with me at all times. Hopefully that gave you some ideas on what you need to do when you're ready to take your first trip out of state. Or if you're a seasoned veteran, maybe you learned an item or two that you can add to your arsenal. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Check out some of my hunting and fishing videos. Hopefully you like them. And remember, get outdoors.